Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. I've got an interesting system for you today. It is a thermal spray system, but unlike other thermal sprays, this is spray infused and you actually achieve a metallurgical bond. This lack of bond strength limits some of the other thermal spray applications. I want to show you the whole process. The robot reaches in, grips apart. You can see it has an auxiliary seventh axis. What we're going into now is a laser mic. So we're measuring the initial diameter of the part. This does two things. It's a quality check, plus we're also able to select which program we need to run based upon the diameter of the part. Now we're going into a blasting operation. You can see the seventh axis spinning while we're blasting. And in order to check to see if the blasting was effective, creating the anchor pattern we want, we're actually looking with a laser mic again to determine the diameter increase. So if we get the diameter increase we want, then we know we have the anchor pattern we want. Next step will be to go over to the induction heater. And with the induction heater, we're preheating the part to improve the initial bond of this process using the seventh axis to rotate it while we're moving back and forth, only putting a few hundred degrees Fahrenheit into this part. And now we're going into the spray infuse operation. This is typically a manual operation, but here we've automated it. You can see with the seventh axis, we're spinning fast. We just dropped the powder into the column and we're putting on a couple thousandths per pass. Uh, I think our total goal here is something around 15 thousandths, and so we'll make a couple, three passes on this thing. Now this is a non-bonded coating at this point. We sprayed on, it was a chrome nickel silicon boron with some carbide, and then we've gone back to the laser mic, confirmed the diameter that we've sprayed on, but now we have one last operation, and that's the fusion. This is what makes spray and fuse unique relative to the other thermal spray operations. Normally at this point, you know, you've got what you got, which is a mechanical bond. But with these self-fluxing chrome nickel silicon boron alloys, if you heat this part after spraying operation, you actually get a brazed interface, which is quite strong. And this allows us to use these spray and few parts in applications which require high bond strength and won't tolerate any loss of, of uh, coating. So after we finished with the fusing operation, it comes out of the machine. In this case, it automatically unloads. Now we go to the lab. We cross-section the part, and then we're going to inspect this coating that's on the outside. What we're looking for is, is a good bond line, uh, dense coating, and that's what we've achieved here. Got uh, a brazed on coating with carbide in there. So this is a perfect example of one of the older manual processes which benefits from robotic automation. So if you have a coating application which might benefit from a metallurgically bonded operation, I hope you consider spray and fuse as one of your options. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.